Do you ever have jobs that just seem like they don't want to get repaired? They're, these projects do not want to get fixed. Uh, I have that feeling with this camper. You know, I've been uh, working on this for quite a while and uh, off and on, you know, on the weekends, things like that. And now it's time to get the axles put on. You know, last video I had the old axles explained how they're an old style. They don't, uh, they're not using them anymore. So I got new axles. I had to order them, got them in, and um, had came with leaf springs to kind of, you know, kind of everything. And so I decided to, it'd be nice just bolt it up and, and move on to the next project. Well, um, <laughs> these things just fight me the whole time. So uh, I went to slide it under the camper found out that the leaf springs are too long so they don't match the hangers on the frame so either I have to uh, you know cut and you know re-weld hangers onto the frame at different locations that seemed uh, you know out of my league for right now and just an extra time to, to do also the new leaf springs are an inch and three quarters so it seems like that's the new standard for leaf spring width inch and three quarter uh, however, my old leaf springs are two inches wide, so that again, it doesn't fit in the old hangers because the leaf springs are too wide. So instead of doing all that mess and with the um, the hangers on the the camper and you know redoing all that, I'm just going to use the old leaf springs with the new axles. So now I'm going to be taking off the old ax the uh, sorry the the new leaf spring, and when I do that, <laughs> even more stuff doesn't fit. So the plate that holds these um, bolts onto the bottom, or, you know, the plate that holds like these U-bolt uh, things that uh, attach the axle to the leaf spring, uh, they're all different dimensions. So because of the width of the, the uh, leaf spring, the plate's got to be a wider and um, the axle diameter's a different diameter than the original. So there's a lot of things different. So now I have to use a lot of some old and new parts and going to be in the shop. I got to cut. Uh, some new holes into these bottom plates. So instead of it being a, you know, one to two hour job just bolting up new axles, it's now turned into a day job. So um, anyway, so that's what today's going to be. It's going to be, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to re replace the um, the old leaf springs on or, and install them onto the new axle and then hopefully get this bolted up and uh, ready to go. And then, you know, onto the next part of this project. So Anyway, stick around for this and uh, let's get going. Okay, I wanted to show you a close up of what I'm talking about. This is the, the underside of the axle. I have it flipped over upside down. These are the, the axle seats, I guess you'd call them. And uh, they're installed it to the right dimension that I told them <laughs> when I took the measurements. This is the original leaf spring. Fits in here, original plate or the, uh, you know, the new plate. And then you have these uh, bolts and nuts here that just go around the axle, come up through and bolt, bolt it in. However, these are inch and three quarter, so that gap right here is inch and three quarter. The new, or the, <laughs> I keep saying the, the old leaf springs are two inches, so these holes aren't far enough apart. And they don't make these that I could find with two inch for two inch leaf springs. So my plan is just, let's just use the old ones. So I'm in the middle of painting these. Um, all right, so there we go, it'll fit. You know, we'll take the, we'll put the old leaf springs back on, put the old uh, plate on the bottom, the new uh, bolts, because that fits around the smaller diameter axle, well, because of that, they don't fit in the holes this way. The holes fit this way, but not this way. So now I'm going to just take this, this plate, line the, the holes up, and drill new holes basically making, making this a little wider. And then I'll put some washers on it and I think it'll be all right to hold it down. Actually, I'm gonna have to do it from both holes because it's centered on this bolt here. So, all right. So now I'm just gonna have to cut a little notch out of the side so this will slide up through and then put a washer down and then we'll bolt, you know, put the nut on bolt it through and I think that'll work that'll hold it nice and tight so let's go um, take some measurements and figure out how I'm going to cut these a little wider
All right, so this project is about complete. I'm gonna do the other side next once I get that stuff painted. They're, uh, they just painted, but they're drying right now. So anyway, uh, appreciate you sticking around for this episode. Uh, we got the axles put on. Hope it helps you out in your project. Uh, stay tuned for some more. We're gonna get back on the inside of this camper uh, and then actually uh, maybe paint it soon. So uh, appreciate you sticking around and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>